Okay, so today we're going to do the uh, following question. Find the minimum distance from the origin to the surface. 3x squared add 4xy add 3y squared equals 20. Now just to give a little bit of background of what we're trying to do, uh, when we're just dealing in the uh, x and y coordinates uh, and we want to find the, uh, the minimum distance of a straight line, uh, y equals mx plus c from the origin, we basically need to find the perpendicular to that line that goes through the origin and the minimum distance of the line to the origin is the, dist is the length of that blue line. When we're dealing with planes in three dimensions, and, and again, uh, you should be able to have a good laugh at my inability to, uh, uh, to draw planes. Let's try and draw it in a, uh, something along the lines of that as a plane. Once again, we need to find the point on the plane where the perpendicular to it goes through the origin that's perpendicular to the plane and then we need to find the length of that green line once we're dealing with uh, surfaces um, and my drawing of surfaces is absolutely appalling but anyway let's give it a go uh, when we're dealing with surfaces in in, in uh, three dimensions um, it's slightly more complicated because the surface could be anything going around here um, if that's not the world's worst surface drawing ever um, I don't know what is, but there are plenty of perpendiculars from the surface uh, to the origin and we need to find which one of those perpendiculars is the smallest in order to find the minimum. So that's what we're basically trying to do um, and the way we're going to do this is with the Lagrange multiplier. Okay, and that is... Uh, del f equals lambda del g, where we have uh, del is the uh, vector differential operator, uh, also known as nabla, uh, although I prefer del. Um, f is the um, function that we're trying to minimize, and g is the constraint. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, um, first of all, they, they, now in actual fact, people tend to get confused um, by, by the uh, Lagrange multiplier um, because what will happen, as we will see, is we'll end up with two equations uh, with three unknowns and the trick is to try and get rid of the lambda which is, is really a little bit sort of, of a red herring. It's, it's a bit irrelevant. We don't need to know what lambda is um, and if we can get rid of it so that we can get a, uh, an equation in terms of x and y then we can find our critical points and then we can solve. So let's uh, get on with it. Um, Okay, so we're going to use, um, let's have a look at our uh, constraints. So first of all, let's just take a very simple uh, xy plane, xy uh, uh, coordinates, and any point on that uh, xy, um, that distance there is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So we want to minimise this. Um, now minimising that is exactly the same as minimising x squared plus y squared. Uh, and it just makes the algebra slightly easier. So the function that we want to minimise is x squared plus y squared. The constraint is that it must lie on the surface. So g, the constraint, is that it must lie on the surface 3x squared add 4xy add 3y squared equals 20. So that's our constraint. OK, so we, we know what uh, the function is we're trying to minimise. So now let's go uh, straight into the, uh, uh, into the maths. Um, um, so, we have del f equals lambda uh, del g. And now let's do the, uh, the partial differentiation. So del f, uh, partial differentiating x squared plus y squared. So partial differential x, x squared plus y squared with respect to x is 2x, and then with respect to y is 2y. And that equals lambda times... Uh, the partial derivative of g with respect to x, first of all, which is uh, 6x add 4y, uh, and then 4x add 6y. Okay, so we now have, uh, that's our Lagrange multiplier here. Okay, so we now have the, uh, we're going to have two equations. We have 2x equals lambda 6x plus 4y, and we have 2y equals lambda 4x plus 6y. That's basically just going across here and a 
across here. Now, as we said uh, in the introduction, the, the trick to this is get rid of lambda. So what we want to do is we want to divide one equation by the other. So it doesn't matter which way we do, so let's divide the second one by the first, and we get y over x equals, and lambda cancels out, 4x plus 6y over 6x plus 4y. Now, when we expand all of that out, uh, we're going to get, uh, let's do it, uh, y, 6x plus 4y equals x, 4x plus 6y, and we're going to get an equation in terms of y and x, 6xy add 4y squared equals 4x squared add 6xy, and the xy cancels, and that leaves us with 4y squared equals 4x squared, i.e. y squared equals x squared, i.e. x equals plus or minus y. Okay, so now we have the condition, and what we can do is we can now plug x equals plus or minus y into our constraint, um, which, let's remember, the constraint g was 3x squared add 4x... Uh, sorry, 3x squared add 4xy add 3y squared equals 20. So we're going to plug x equals plus or minus y into our constraint, and that's going to give us a series of, uh, of coordinates, and uh, then we all we have to do is plug the coordinates. They will be the critical points, and then we plug those critical points into our original uh, uh, f, which is to, to find the distance, minimum distance from the origin, and find out what the minimum is. So um, we have, let's take, first of all, x equals plus y, because x equals plus or minus y, so we have to take the two uh, conditions, x equals plus y or x equals minus y. If x equals plus y, let's plug that into g, so we get, it doesn't matter whether we plug x in, in or y in, 3x squared add 4x squared add 3x squared is 20, i.e. x equals plus or minus root 2. Um, so therefore, given that x equals y, we have our critical points. Let's put the critical points in uh, in red. We have the critical points of root 2, root 2, and minus root 2, minus root 2. Okay, so that's for x equals plus y. What about x equals minus y? Remember, uh, here, um, we found that x equals plus or minus y satisfies the uh, Lagrange multiplier. So x equals minus y. Let's do exactly the same thing. Plug it into g, and we get 3x squared um, minus 4x squared add 3x squared equals 20 now because uh, x is minus y so that gives us 2x squared equals 20 or x equals plus or minus root 10 so therefore uh, again the two critical points um, so we've got these two critical points here I'm going to keep those uh, they're the first two critical points of x equals y the second two critical points are plus root 10 minus root 10 because x equals minus y here and minus root 10 plus root 10. Now all we have to do now, we have the four critical points, what we need to do now is we need to see which one of those critical points produces the minimum distance from the surface uh, to the origin. So all we need to do is just plug them into our f which was x squared plus y squared and clearly if we plug root 2 or minus root 2 minus root 2 into there, we're going to get less than if we plug plus or minus root 10. So the minimum distance from the surface to the origin is going to be the square root of x squared add y squared when x or y is root 2, which equals the square root of root 2 squared add root 2 squared, which equals 2. So the minimum distance from the um, surface to the origin is 2. And incidentally, we've also found the maximum distance of the surface to the origin, which is the other coordinates, root 10 and minus root 10. So the, the maximum distance, which they haven't asked us for, but we can give them anyway, maybe look at it as a bonus point. Um, probably won't, but anyway, the maximum distance is again, root x squared add y squared. This time, when we uh, use either that root 10 and minus root 10, or that minus root 10 plus root 10, because we're squaring it, it doesn't make any difference, equals the square root of uh, root 10 squared add root 10 squared, which equals uh, root 200, or 2, uh, sorry, or 10 root 2. So the maximum distance uh, that the surface gets from the origin is 10 root 2, although they didn't ask that.